sitting in the dark, watching television, laying in bed an hour before we have to get on a plane at 2.30 in the morning probably isn't the smartest idea. Well, I I actually have a um, an alarm set for 3.15 just in case I doze off. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things, like recipe videos, and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. You're on the wrong side. I know, we're on opposite sides, but we have solved the mystery of what do the cats do at two o'clock in the morning? <laughs> they eat. <laughs> they just eat. How did your white shoe become pink? I am so upset, okay, so. I'm totally repping Boba Fett on our trip, and I wanted to go fully retro, so I was going to wear my retro Reebok sneakers. What did you wash them with? I must have washed it with something red or pink. <laughs> and I put it through the wash several times. I used vinegar. Oh, here comes the cat. Oh, there you go. All right, well, there you go. Back of charity. Um, but I, I can't get the pink out. So if anybody can give me some help in the comments down below, what do you recommend to take the pink out of this white shoe so I can wear it I again? I have a great solution. You just have pink shoes now. Well, I mean, that's what may happen. So it is, as my eye like doesn't want to open, it is 2.30 in the morning on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. We are leaving for the airport in one hour. We one have hour. to wake Anthony up probably. We also because he's driving us to the airport. We also have to not fall asleep within this hour. We have not yet been to sleep. Yeah. So we packed and then oh look, there's the Delta notification Ooh. saying our flight, you know, and I don't know. I guess it's said we're looking forward to the flight. Aww. So uh, yeah, we had to pack yesterday and we had to work on a video. And then just work and everything else because like we're going away. It's kind of interesting though because I have two bags. I have my luggage bag mm -hmm. and then I have my camera gear bag and there's more stuff in my camera gear bag than there is in my luggage bag. Well, I'm actually taking a, uh, a play out of Joe's packing playbook this time because of the fact that we have a layover and he has me so scared that somehow my luggage lost before. they're going to lose my luggage. So the the most important things like that I want to wear is in my carry-on. Carry so and then, you know, we could buy underwear when we get there. We don't need underwear. It's what I figure. Speaking of which, I still have to wait for Anthony to wake up so I can find the jeans that I want to wear. So I'm sitting here in my underwear. That's why. Nice. We're nice and close. So no boxer shorts. <laughs> we'll save you. We'll spare you. So we're going to go watch a movie while we wait for Anthony to get up. Yeah, wake me up before you go-go. Well, we made it to Atlanta and we actually had a really nice flight. Yeah, it was a nice smooth flight. I slept for about 15 minutes, maybe. I don't sleep on planes. Like, you know, you're always like, you're afraid you're gonna oversleep and then be sleeping when you're actually landing. And It's it's not that like the, the flight attendants won't tell you like it's time to leave, but right. yeah, I'm the same way. I get really worried that I'm gonna to miss something so we're waiting for our next flight to Omaha it leaves in about 45 minutes so pretty quick layover we'll land in Omaha somewhere around 10 o'clock in the morning we'll get our rental car and then drive around until it's time to get into the house of Chris and Miriam. I am very hopeful because we were able to get on the plane train and find our terminal. And I mean, I just feel like, okay, success for the day. Okay, we made it. We're Yay. in Omaha. We're here. It's cold here. Uh, we're on our way to Avis to pick up a rental car. Hopefully they actually allow us to have a rental car at Avis after the last time we were here in Omaha. The kombucha incident. Okay, so we stopped at Walmart to grab some pork rinds and see what was the assortment like in Omaha. And look what we found. Pig out pigless pork rinds. They're actually uh, like vegan. Plant-based pork rinds. They're made out of rice. 
high oleic expeller press sunflower oil, pea protein, pea grits, pork rind seasoning, which is pea protein, maltodextrin, yeast extract, sea salt, natural flavors, cane sugar, salt, and white distilled vinegar. Yeah, this is way more healthy than the pork rinds. On a side note, I have never seen such an assortment of pork rinds as in this Walmart. There's got to be like 30 flavors of pork rinds here. So we have four hours until we can check into the Airbnb with Chris and Miriam. So we decided to kind of just drive around, see, see what's, what's here. here. Uh, we were looking for a Walmart to get alcohol for Rachel's ears. Rubbing alcohol, not like yes, booze. Yes, rubbing alcohol. And also I wanted to get some deodorant. And then uh, we wanted to get food for the house. And we're just driving around. And I said, you know what? I need a drink. I want to stop at a gas station and get a drink. And back to the scene of the crime. I cannot even, I don't even know how we did this. We have no idea where we are. We're just kind of literally driving around and we found the exact car wash. gas station slash car wash where we had to clean the car from the kombucha incident. It's muscle memory. Like we, we, we were just like that damaged by that whole incident that we just like come back to it. So this is the adorable Airbnb we're gonna be staying in while we're here in Omaha. How cute is this house? I love it. It's got so much character and a front porch and everything. We're well, sitting I'm, on I'm the other side of the table while they do and, the keto uh, show Joe, on the Yep. This is the exact opposite haircut of what they would have. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's easier to maintain. It's true. Yeah, anyway, gosh, let's see. Tammy says, this. when will the car big bags of caramel macchiato be back? So what do you do when you're staying in a house with a bunch of keto people? You eat a lot of bacon, sausage, and eggs. Good morning. Good morning. Or good afternoon almost. Well, yeah. So, yeah, I guess it's afternoon. We, we did be up lazy. for a while because we were eating breakfast and stuff, but... You know, it's Thursday morning or Thursday afternoon. Chris and Miriam and Stephen Holly went to set up the Kita Chow booth at Omaha. We still gotta get dressed. We're gonna get dressed and stuff, and then we're gonna head over there. And we're excited to see so many people. Yay! I'm, I keep finding out more and more people who are coming that we get to hang out with, like Logan, Goody Beats, and Kim Howerton is here. Heath and Shelly. And Heath and Shelly. And we have Heather and Phil, who are actually staying in the room next to Bree, us. Bree, I think, is coming. Bree is coming. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, we are Susan. horrible vloggers. Yes. Because last night, we had some of the most delicious food. Incredible ribs. Yeah, Phil made ribs. Heather he, made like nine racks of ribs. Heather made a keto coleslaw that was incredible. Mm -hmm. It was so it was stinking really, good. really good. And we ate. Oh, we had jalapeno poppers because of we're obsessed with we're them. And so is Chris and Miriam. Yeah, we love jalapeno poppers. What is your current? obsession like we, we it's almost like we want we make up jalapeno poppers all of the time but what is your thing that you just always have to have on the ready now and it changes right it wasn't us, always jalapeno poppers it right wasn't now. always jalapeno poppers it changes what i you make want. like 20 jalapeno poppers like stuff them wrap them and bake them and then we put them in the refrigerator and we've learned to just cook four halves at a time Don't otherwise a i'm gonna eat like 20 of yeah. them in a sitting and so if we do it that way, we just stick them in the air fryer because it takes like 30 minutes to make them really yeah. well. We put them in the air fryer, uh, 380 degrees for 27 minutes, and they come out super crispy with the, the pepper nice and soft. Is and perfect. Perfect every time. So that we had all that. I can't and have then snotty bacon. The berries came over with Beckett, and then we lost Rachel. Rachel just like... She, well, she was hanging out with Beckett for like five hours playing cars. And... He's so fun. And the place that we're staying is obviously owned by a family. And so they have toys here. <laughs> so we got to play Matchbox cars and ramps and stuff like that. So that, that was just in blocks. Yeah. It was so much fun. Any excuse to get to play with a toddler like that, that's my, that's my love language. Yeah. And then we had some good conversations with Dr. Barry. We're talking about Dr. Barry's challenge, and I'm going to talk to him a little bit about later on today. And I think we're ready to do the beef, butter, bacon, and pork challenge. What, is are that, you ready is for that, that? Are those the four things? 30 days. He says if you eat nothing, only beef, butter, bacon, and pork, for 30 days. Okay, that's all you can have. have to and you can eat as much as you want. I like as that. As many times a day as you want. You will not gain 10 pounds of fat. Now, I can't have coffee, though. But I no have coffee. proven that you can do it that I coffee. can do it. 
So that's just nice to know in my back pocket that it could, it's possible. Yeah, we're, we're going we're gonna to look into this. Let's so think. we're going to go get ready and we will check in with all you guys later. You look good. You managed to cut yourself. Yeah, look we, at that. Right we, behind my ear. We've got a detour to the drugstore now. I need a styptic pencil. I never cut myself on a trip. And I almost never cut myself actually shaving unless it's a razor that you've used forever and ever. Well, the workplace this a, a number of countdown like this many trips without a, a that's a gone. Cut. It's no longer Back it's to no zero. longer like two hundred and ninety seven or whatever like that. Yeah. So you gotta get a styptic pencil so I can stop the bleeding because that's I don't really want to walk around a conference with toilet hey, paper. Hey, <laughs> you want to hang out while I bleed on you? So we just got to the relevant center, which is a great name for a convention center because this. And whatever you're watching, it's relevant. So we're gonna head inside and see what's going on and we'll try to talk to some different people and speakers and of course whatever subscribers happen to show up today and tomorrow. Yes. Omaha Bakeries. Hi. Hi, how are you? Guys? How are you? What's good here? Everything. Every <laughs> single thing. Is you awesome. guys look great. You do too. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. We were so tickled when we heard that you were gonna be here. It's like yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It looks like there's more stuff to try this year. The pink donuts, though. The strawberry. Yeah. Yeah. And then I have lemon. I don't know if I had those. Oh, wait, we get the cheesecakes. If I remember right, I mean, it's been a year and a half. Right. But um, they were like the best. Uh, so the, this is um, yeah. Snickers bar with the nougat in the middle uh, made from cashews. And then there's cheesecake brownie, lemon bars, and carrot cake. And then the lemon this is bars. Is this, these are lemon yep, bars. Too. Those yep. were, those so, were good. so good. And then um, I have some coffee cakes, then some raspberry and um, blueberry coffee cakes that we're bringing in, and lemon loaves. Sweet wow. Breads. Um, and what else is new for this year? Um, I, I don't know. Like, I, I don't remember. I don't think there were any donuts it's last It's been time. a minute, right? It's been right. a lifetime. We about last right? January. Um, right now, about 40% of what we bake is keto in the bakery. We have two businesses now, two bakeries. Yeah. And um, we're getting ready to close one and open in a bigger space here soon. Yeah, I'll come over here so we and can this is fun. I don't know if I have these. So oh, what um, is that? for me, I'm everything keto. breadcrumbs. Okay, so we'll have to bring those what home. I, what I missed on keto was the um, chicken fried steak. Oh, yeah. So I couldn't have chicken fried steak or pork cutlets. So when we did our bread, we'd have loaves that weren't nice. So we would sift it. The first sift would give this. The second sift would give us this. Oh, the fine right? breadcrumbs. So this was for our meatloaf and our breaded mushrooms and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But this, I could do those um, cube steaks with that and then so cook nice. it in avocado oil. Hello. Because in the air fryer, it didn't work because it needed the fat. Yeah. Keto Chow is here. How it's, awesome is that? It's like dark lighting, so we're doing our best here. Yeah, but it is beautiful. I actually like this lighting in person. Not good for video, though. It's not great for videos, but it's just like everything's so romantic in here. Oh, Pasture Meats home delivered. Oh, yes. Pasture Meats. Tell us about yourself. So, my name's Rachel, and this is Joe. We're from Two Crazy Keto's on, on YouTube. Hi. And um, so, this is exciting. We always love to find out about new products, and you have to come to a convention to find out about new stuff. So, introduce yourselves to us. We're Well Grounded Farms. My name is Lori Hope. This is my husband, Andrew. Hello. We are an online meat boutique that just launched last month, based out of Bennington, Nebraska. We are at wellgroundedfarms.com, helping you feed your family well. Wow. Yeah. And because, I mean, you have to notice that they have in front of their booth giant, like, steaks and chicken right here looking beautiful. So what kind of farm do y'all have? How, how large is it? We right now are the bridge between producer and consumers. Okay. So what we found was that families want superior proteins that are grass-fed, grass-finished, more um, holistically raised, the welfare of the animal is very important to them and its impact on the ecosystems. And so they're looking for that and the producers that are raising this meat wonderfully well don't necessarily know how to connect with the customer. So, true. so we're the bridge between the two. And said so we can help you guys, we can help families. And so our goal is in the next three to five years to be building up our own herd as well. But in the meantime, we really see ourselves as like a, a personal attendant to people wanting to understand the various cuts of meat, 
what cuts are appropriate for what type of occasion or how to make um, just a healthy, positive experience as a family making meals together and eating well. And so you're helping home. to vet the farms for us because yes. we can't travel yeah. farm to farm yes. to find it. And about how many farms are y'all working with at least? I'd say there's about four right now. That is so awesome. Wow. Oh my gosh, how neat to get to see you in person. Hi, Christy, how you doing? Hi, Kristen, I'm sorry. My name's Christine in the, my middle name. And so, yeah, so it's like every variation of that. Oh my gosh, it's so good to see you in person. I heard that Heath and Shelly are here and I'm gonna get me a hug right now. Answer. Hey, he <laughs> I was gonna say he gonna let you go by my handshake. I know that much. How, How are you guys you doing? doing? I'm tired. You? You're so beautiful. It's Heath and Show. Talk about beautiful. You're what? beautiful. Oh, no, I dropped some of my lunch on my well, shirt. Well, well, that's why I was you like. You wouldn't have told her. I told you it doesn't. You can't tell. You can't yeah. tell, but I, but I told Joe because he was eating some ribs. And I oh. said, you better wear a, a bib on you because <laughs> yes. you're going to have it right on here every time the thing. And look at Susan. I do. Did you get to see Su <laughs> Susan B, yo, in the house. And you're like the cutest ever. Oh. Me oh. and Heath are going to go. And like, he's towering. Yeah. Towering. Look at that. Man. Mirrors. Man. Look at that. Yeah. Like, like, check it. Now, his shoes are flat on the ground. It isn't even like, like, like I'm using some heels, but his is flat on the ground. <laughs> oh my God. I tried calling you and then sent you a text too. Oh, uh, the phone You're busy, is. I know. No, 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 I don't no. think there's service in there, there is, okay. because like when seller. they Chris and Murray oh, were here Kristen. setting up, I couldn't get a hold of so them. So I okay. can't see a thing. Oh, there's Miss Julie. Hello. Oh. Hey, how y'all doing? Good. How this is Julie doing? from Redmond. Oh. So we are, we are enjoying the new yes. mango flavor. Uh, I was going to say the smoked salt. Like this we is, added you to everything. All, yeah, all three. Oh, you're we lucky added to everything. So, so we're going to get you on record right now, Julie. Is smoked salt coming back? Please. Smoked salt's coming back. Oh, thank for goodness. Uh, December. Look who I ran into here in Omaha. What's up, everybody? And, and wait, we got a photo bomb. Oh, oh, oh dude. I know this oh, guy. This, oh, guys, uh, this is my bodyguard, my personal bodyguard, as you can see why. Yeah. This is uh, actually my body with Goody's <laughs> head Photoshop. <Yeah>. Seriously. <laughs> my personal bodyguard. I'm not feel, I don't feel threatened. I don't got to worry about anybody because I just be like, look, hey, big guy, take right. care of him. Yeah. <laughs> head and him, shoulders yes. above the rest. <laughs> That's right. Um, yes. Uh, so, yes, my name is Goody Beats. And uh, I am here in Omaha, all the way from Texas. I'm just happy to be around people. I'm happy to hang out again. This yes. is what I miss. This is people what I feed off. Yeah. See you in real, because you're part of our lives every exactly. single day. Exactly. So is your beautiful family. Yes. But getting to see you in person is just, it's different. <laughs> yes, I mean, it's a little different. I'm a, I'm a little more animated, I guess you could yeah. say. Oh, <laughs> you yeah. Know, I like to have fun. Look, you know where I get my energy? I get my energy from the people. So when I'm around people like this, when I'm around events like this, I, I thrive off of it because that is where I literally get my energy. I'm like Superman. The Superman gets his energy from the sun. I believe this. I get my energy from the people. So I absolutely love coming to events like this, man. Just now, talking to you. Talking now to we didn't get to see you at the last Omaha. Is this your first time in Nebraska? Yes, this is my first time. This is actually my first time in Nebraska. And I will say this, I am impressed. The people are nice. It's a beautiful day. The sun is shining, so I have nothing to complain about. Uh, shout out to my Nebraska people. So yeah, yeah, it is so it. awesome. Now there was something a little bit weird over at the keto couch, keto couch, keto couch, keto, keto coach. coach booth. It yes. didn't say keto coach anymore. No, it did not. It now says bio coach. I'm not sure if you can see that, but yeah. we have now uh, pivoted over to bio coach, and the reason for that is because we want to focus on a much broader. Uh, scale of nutrition and biomarkers and so everybody's individual body marker uh, biomarker is what's important to us so yes we know keto is important yes. yeah absolutely we love it. It, 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 it's it's just so much more than weight loss it right is. but we also want to focus on other aspects and so one thing that we really want to focus on is diabetes management yeah. um, I will say personally I have family members who struggle with diabetes and being pre-diabetic and what I've learned unfortunately 
it's not going to go anywhere. No, it's not. And the education for it is not there. They're not teaching them about a proper diet, proper nutrition. They just want to put you on insulin. They just want to put you on medication. And I want to change that. I want to literally grab them by the hand, walk with them every step of the way and show them that, look, I'm going to show you how to manage this. I'm going to show you how to beat this. I'm going to hold your hand. We're going to go to the grocery store. I'm gonna show you what to buy. I'm gonna show you what to eat. I'm gonna show you how to cook it. Shopping I'm gonna show you how to work out. I'm gonna show you everything. That's we a are Food gonna Network make it. show if I've ever I heard love of it one. so much because my mother actually recovered from type two diabetes for 20 years. Wow. But here's the thing. She had a family member that was on keto so we could help her. She understood that word keto. Whereas everybody doesn't have a family member on yeah. keto. So now Goody is gonna be a part of your family <laughs> yes. and be able to help everybody bio we understand yes we get that Absolutely. we understand that's having to do with the body and our wellness yes. and everything that that's brilliant so yeah bio coach but we can still get keto coach stuff yes yes so you can still get your uh blood ketone meter your strips your uh blue light blockers your accessories everything at ketocoach.com it'll just redirect you to biocoach.io it's just um, some new swag it is. It's new, a, it's a, new, it's new a, shirts and stuff over there. Um, well, not yet. <laughs> I was the first one. So we'll call this a prototype. Um, but soon, there will soon be um, items for you to buy there. Uh, if you want to buy a shirt, support the company, support a good cause. That's what it's all about, yeah. right? Supporting good people. That's what me. That's the most important thing to me. It's supporting good people doing good things. And so I'm really excited about that. And again, this project is so special to me because I know it's going to help people. It's going to help save people's lives. It will. Like my family members. Yeah, it so, will. Yes. So exciting. Well, enjoy the rest of the weekend, and we can't wait to hang out more. Thank you, everybody. What are you doing? What are you doing? Acting like an adult. Obviously. No, you're not. Obviously. Are you babysitting? No, we are totally. Well, you're playing. I'm, I'm, I'm playing. <laughs> it's baby Beckett, who we're not going to show on camera, but no, it's baby yes. Beckett. Yes. Who is handsome as all get out. Are, are you ready eat? to eat? I'm so ready to eat. You want to go eat? I, yes. I heard we have poke bowls. Oh, wow. Yeah. Is that raw fish? Chef Sean, like, outdid himself. Oh my goodness. So, so what do we have here? So we have a, a steak grown cherry tomato with a lemon aioli uh, mixed with our grass fed, grass finished petite tender topped with a bone marrow chimichurri, garlic chip, and some salmon rub. Here we go. Cheers. Cheers. We gotta dink it. Stick yours out here. Dink. dink. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is amazing. I'm just gonna need about 45 more of those. Can you tell us what we have yeah, here? Yeah, this is 30-month aged Ramon Mangalitsa. Um, like prosciutto, it's American made here. Uh, with the breed I use, it's called Mangalitsa. It's a, a Hungarian breed. Pork, salt, and thyme, and a lot of love. That's all that's, that's, all that's here. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna taste the love, all right? Where's mine? You don't love me very much. Yeah, just... He is loving what he's making. This this truly is love. You can Thank taste you. it. This is amazing. Well, where's my... It's in Contro Beard. I, uh, we're a brand that's partnered with Certified Piedmontese. And uh, we're looking to be the best beard meat producer in America. Oh my goodness, that is fantastic. What is that? The slicer. Well, it's a flywheel slicer. It looks antique, but it's, you know, modern parts. It's just the exact right... That uh, is amazing. It's the right tool for something that's made, you know, this delicate. And come check this out over here. Come get a, come get a shot. Oh, of this. oh, whoa! Okay. We're gonna see how this is done here. Yeah, razor thin every time. Wow! So it's the perfect machine to show what this animal is and the work that I put into it. This wow. machine is presenting it how it's supposed to be eaten. That's amazing. Okay, so I see the bowl of shrimp, and I'm wondering what everybody else is going to eat when I just take the bowl subtly. Just walk off with it. I thought you were intermittent fasting for this event. Okay, so we got Chef Sean from Redmond. And he's gonna tell us what we have here. Yeah, you bet. First of all, this is the funnest thing that they are serving it in. So, yeah. So we did these little Chinese takeout containers for our cauliflower poke bowls. 
So we got cauliflower rice, some ahi tuna poke, some pickled vegetables. We've got all kinds of toppings, including tobiko and seafood salad. And then, of course, some spicy mayo. This just brings it all together with the box, of course. Wow. How did you come up with this idea? Uh, I don't know. I mean, we eat tuna a lot at home, and I just figured this was kind of fit with the VIP night. So This is so it's, fun. It's kind of very shop. interactive and fun, right? Well, because people think about having like a taco night or something. You have friends over, and you're going to have, you know, nachos or something. This is so fun, and it is something that you could try at home even. Like, oh, yeah. what a neat yeah. spin on it, and it does make us feel super special to be here tonight, so thank you. That's what it's all about. You've got to taste that. You know, I'm always, like, like a little it. weird about, like, raw fish, like, but I'm always hearing about these. Oh, my gosh. You would not know that they do cauliflower rice. That is, like, no. that's a sushi, a sushi restaurant. It is, and I'm honestly, I have missed sushi. If I'm honest, the sushi rolls. We will eat sashimi. Did you eat sushi? Yes. The sushi rolls. But, and I'm like, I'm eating sashimi, but I'm thinking about sushi rolls yeah. when I eat it. So this is like, this is a way to do it, and then put it in a bowl, that's so smart. Because I've tried to roll it with the cauliflower rice and it don't work the right. So just layer it and eat it like a, almost like a salad or something. Uh, <laughs> it's been a long day. I'm ready for my jammies. Sorry if anything is like shaking, but there's not a, any good lighting anywhere in this house. So we had to put the light on top of the camera, which means I can't see the screen. So the camera is now balancing on our stabilizer on top of a suitcase on our bed. We're classy like that. We're, we're working that way. This was, it was a good day. Such I, a good day. You want to say it was a long day because... Yesterday was a long day. But it didn't start till 3. But it didn't start till 3. So it really wasn't. So it wasn't, but it was a good day. We met some cool people, got so to hang fun. out with some people. We did our little short live stream. Sorry for that. We'll make it up to you guys next week. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be really long cool winded. We'll live stream next week. And then, uh, oh my gosh, the VIP event. Like, there was some good food there. It was so Fun. It was mm. fun food. You know, that's always the complaint. Is keto fun? Can yeah. I do it for parties? When you can do a poke bowl. That right? was so neat. That is definitely something that I want to to bring home with me and have a party where you have a fixings right. bar like they did. It was just such a creative idea. The spoons full of steak yep. on top of a little tomato with the cheese. I mean, it was, it was wonderful. It was really, really good. We had a great time. And I like them having that VIP event because, you know, Dr. Seaman's whole thing is she wants to keep Keto Summit Omaha small and intimate. And of all of the different events that we have gone to, I, Keto Summit Omaha is my favorite because really? you really, well, because the speakers are always kind of wandering around and you, you feel like a family here in Omaha. It's very, very nice if you want a question answered yeah. from somebody that you really respect like and Ask the panels Cindy, and that kind Dr. Of stuff. Barry, Dr. Cyrus. Yeah, they're right there. Yeah. Instead of it being like sometimes if it's a giant location, you know, it's just hard to to find everybody. And we're not even into day 2, which is really the first full day. Yeah. And I'm already excited about next year's keto summit. Oh, me too. So, anyway, uh the VIP event they gave us swag bags. So from all of the different sponsors. We're so going to give ours away. We're going to give one away right now. So let's go over what's in here. So we've got a tub of watermelon. my probably, even though the Lime. mango and the strawberry are both really good, watermelon is still my absolute favorite of Relight. So there's a tub of Redmond Relight. My in mom here. said she was just having some of that this, this what evening. What else is in here? I'm trying to not shake the bed. Rowdy energy drink. Mm-hmm. There is, oh, it's like a little notepad from like a, a local meat guy. The Real Salt Blue Book. Ooh, like a little keychain light. Nice from a nurse, local nurse. Yep. Oh, wait, let's see. We got some more Redmond stuff. Love it. We got, we need to get some of these this for is, traveling. This is really the good one for my purse. Well, no, the good one for your purse is a little mini shaker bottle. But I Because use, that's good for going out to lot. eat. Right? That's good for going into a restaurant. But we travel a lot now. And 
So we always bring a little shaker bottle, but we have like six of them because you're going to use one every day. Well, that's the thing. Whereas we this is perfect for traveling. Throw this in your suitcase. Well, here's the thing. Yeah, because when we go out to a restaurant and we just have one of those shaker bottles. That's I, enough for the meal. Well, I salt mine and I'm looking at yours and I think maybe I want some more salt <laughs> afterwards. And so like you better not use it all. The best seasoned salt. We got one of those. How fun is that? What else is in here? <gasps> We got some keto chow. We're I gonna... see some keto chow. Oh, oh, let's see. More from Redmond. We got the... one of these little toothpaste. They're these toothpaste. are really, really good. It's really good. There's the little tiny There's one. There's the little shaker one. So this is good for your purse, for your briefcase, for your pocket. I keep one strapped on my little backpack because this is perfect for going into restaurants, things like that. Very nice. Uh, the facial mud. Rachel, Anthony actually loves this. Yeah. So Anthony can make, he's like, do we good. have any more facial mud? Because he likes doing like facials with Sarah. It's very fun. Um, oh, anything else in here? Oh, we've got a card for Omaha. Bacon can be good oh, for one my free gosh. keto bar. Unfortunately. But if you're in the local area. Yeah, you gotta be in the local area. Omaha <laughs> or Elkhorn location. And then we've got, this is chocolate peanut butter cup keto brick that is delicious and then we got a bunch of keto chow there's a calendar and oh, okay and so we got three strawberry and three chocolate keto chows delicious so we're gonna give this away because we have a bunch of all of these products yeah anyway. well and we, so want, we want you, you know, guys to enjoy it you're the vip so here's what you need to do you need to hit the like button on this video you need to make sure you're subscribed to the channel you need to leave a comment down below. And unfortunately, you do have to live in the United States. Yeah. Yep. Anything else? No, I'm just excited. So we are going to take a shower separately. And then we're going to hit the bed because the event starts tomorrow. We got to be there, be there at 7 a.m. Well, 7 a.m. We got to be there a little early because we got to bring some stuff for Redmond and stuff. Oh, yeah. Right? We got water containers. We do. And, so... Uh, tomorrow's going to be a long day, but we're excited because we so get to hang happy. out with more of the 2KK Meatheads and some of the speakers, and we're going to go around. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because we're going to go around and we're going to talk to some people like Dr. Barry, and uh, we're going to talk to Kim Howerton. Maria Emmerich. We're going to try to talk to Maria Emmerich. We're going to talk to some of the different vendors because some of this you can Brand get in different places. Well, things that, and things that we've never seen before. That's what's so neat. Every year at one of these conferences, find something new. You're finding somebody new, like the 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 meat company that we talked to today. Brand mm -hmm. new. I never talked to them before. Yeah. So, well, that is going to be today's vlog for day one of Keto Summit Omaha. It's really like day one and two of our trip. Yeah. And. uh Tomorrow will be the actual main event. Yeah. If you like seeing videos like this, we'll show you some of the stuff we eat tomorrow. Uh, we showed you some of it today, right? It was delicious. Uh, if you like seeing videos like this, check out some of the other videos that we have linked right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm going to put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.